Hello everyone and welcome back to another a very exciting chess game uh, in this chess game. I'm going to show you one of the chess games uh, in the match between Akiba Rubinstein and Frank James Marshall. Both players need no introduction but Rubinstein was one of the greatest. So was Frank James Marshall. He was actually one of the most dominant chess players in the United States and one of the best chess players in the early 1900s. So uh, let's see what happened. This chess game was played in Warsaw in 1908. So Rubinstein starts the game with d4. We have d5, knight to f3, c6, c4, and we have the Slav defense. The game is actually transposing into the queen's gambit, the client. Bishop to d6, knight to c3, f5, knight to e5, and simply eliminating the knight, bishop takes on e5. Actually, the knight was a very dangerous piece in this position but capturing the knight and giving up the bishop was not the best idea and in this position queen to h5 check is also possible so even if you push the pawn then knight takes pawn is possible of course so it would be very ugly for black so maybe developing the knight uh, should have been considered but in this position simply eliminating the knight bishop takes on e5 d takes on e5 and then developing the knight knight to h6 and pushing the pawn and well actually this is giving an important grip in the center for white after capturing the knight and also the e pawn is controlling some of the important key squares such as d6 and f f6 so in this position frank james marshall castled bishop to e2 and then b6 also, Akiba Rubinstein castled bishop to b7, b3, knight to a6, bishop to a3, defending the rook. Uh, but in this position, actually pushing the pawn and closing the bishop is also possible. But after rook to f7, you can see that after Rubinstein played bishop to d6, this gives a very beautiful parking spot for the bishop, rook to d7. And then b4 by Akiba Rubinstein, knight to f7, attacking the very annoying bishop. And in this position, we have c takes on d5 and decisions, decisions. Well, Marshall played e takes on d5. And actually, this was not a very good move. c takes on d5 should have been considered, but in this position, maybe he was afraid because of bishop to b5 and how to defend the rook. Actually, you are not supposed to defend the rook in this position. Knight takes on d6, capturing the rook, capturing, and then after capturing the knight. Now, you can see that the b-pawn and also the d-pawn is looking like very serious weaknesses for white. So, black is slowly collecting the pawns, but a black is collecting the pawns and Marshall didn't understood this. After a3, defending the knight, rook to f2, well, in this position, black can also play some developing move like rook to c8 or simply capturing the pawn, queen takes on d6 and black is better in this position, believe it or not. White is losing, black is losing the exchange, but in return, black is getting two extra pawns. So Frank James Marshall didn't understood this. Unfortunately, in this position, he played e takes on d5 and what was so wrong with this move? Can you see uh, the mistake? Uh, well, this move uh, is not a good move because this is opening the e pawn and creating a pass pawn for white. Maybe Frank James Marshall underestimated the power of the e pawn. And the game continued after b5 by Akiba Rubinstein. Of course, Marshall didn't want to capture the pawn because of the same problem. Bishop takes on b5. So knight to c7, knight goes back and then simply capturing the pawn, bishop takes on c6 and simply capturing the knight, rook takes on c7 and bishop to f3, targeting the weakness and if you defend the pawn with the rook, then pushing the e-pawn, forking the rook and the knight. So we have king to h8 and simply capturing the pawn, rook to d7, defending the rook, but it looks like this is a blunder, rook to d7, maybe it was a blunder because of pushing the pawn, uh, but in this position, if rook to b7 or rook to c8, then rook to c1 
and white has the open file and white is doing very well uh, also white has an octopus knight so positionally white is winning very easily but after rook to d7 this loses immediately because rubinstein played e6 well i'm going to be honest with you frank james marshall played terrible against rubinstein it is almost hard to watch but surprisingly actually frank marshall's lifetime record against rubinstein was very impressive it was head to head it was head to head it was very close but in this match actually rubinstein defeated frank marshall and in their lifetime record rubinstein rubinstein uh, also defeated Marshall with few more extra wins. So at the final standings, at the final scorecard, uh, after this match, it was Akiba Rubinstein's favor. So anyway, we have Rook to d6 and simply capturing the knight. And this is losing a piece. Bishop takes on d5, Bishop takes on d5, and we have Queen to d7. Uh, if rook takes on d5, then simply promoting the queen. Now you can see the power of that passed pawn. The e pawn is going to become a queen. Capturing the queen and then capturing the rook. And white is a rook up and this is losing. So in this position, after bishop takes on d5, we have queen to d7. But this move is also losing. Can you see why? Well, Rubinstein simply captured the rook and this position is resignable. But Marshall didn't want to resign. He played rook takes on d1. Another horrible move. But in this position, there is no good moves. If something like, for example, if queen to e7, then queen to b3. But defending the pawn, the bishop is going to go back. And you can see that white is doing excellent. This pass pawn is a pain in the neck. Black has a back rank issue as well. It, this position is unplayable, of course, for Marshall as well because White has the rook and also White White has the rook and also White uh, is a piece up. Uh, so White is two pieces up actually in this position. So in the real game, after Bishop takes on a8, we have Rook takes on d1, and can you see the problem in this position? Well, Rubinstein simply pushed the pawn and he promoted the queen. Check mate. Fantastic. If he wanted, he could also promote the rook and checkmating his opponent was also possible. You can see that black has back rank issue, but even but if he if he would promote the rook, I think that would be mocking his opponent. It would be a little bit disrespectful. So he promoted the queen and he checkmated his opponent. We see checkmate on the board. A miniature, a 25 move chess game miniature. And he also checkmated his opponent. So interesting chess game. I hope that you have enjoyed watching this chess game. And I hope to see you next time. So stay safe, take care and bye bye.